Before we begin, if you guys have gotten a lot of use out of the tutorials here on the MXQ project, then if you like to, you can donate to us using the PayPal donation link in the description below. That would be greatly appreciated and will go a long way to helping developments all around the world to bring you guys so many cool things to your TV box. This video is aimed at you guys wanting to breathe new life into very old pieces of TV box hardware. This is aimed at Amalogic S805 or S812 users. Now the MXQ S805 came out some six years ago now and at the time it was an incredibly cheap TV box and nowadays it's probably sitting in a lot of people's drawers gathering dust, pretty much not doing anything, and some of you maybe even chucked it in the bin. Now we really hate waste here at the MXQ project, there is no point in chucking a piece of hardware that still works into the bin just to send it off to landfill. You can make use out of that TV box and get it working for you, maybe in the spare bedroom, the kids bedroom, or maybe even a relative's TV, maybe you can give it to them and get some use out of it. So what are we talking about today's tutorial? Well, we want to run the very latest version of Kodi on your MXQ S805 or your M8S box with that S812 Amlogic processor. Now, what we've got to do is we need to run a system called Alex Elec. Now, this is a fork of the very famous LibreLec system. And if you've never come across LibreLec before, it is a dedicated operating system to running Kodi. Now, the very latest version of Alex Elec is running Kodi 18.2 Release Candidate 1. Can you believe it? We can now run the very latest version of Kodi on your ancient MXQ S805 TV box and even those old M8S boxes with that S812 processor. For you guys with the S905, the S905X and W and even the S912 device, you can use Alex Elec, but I highly recommend you check out Core Elec. It is a community focused development for Amlogic users and it's got a great user base. It's got a great development base as well as that it's running the very latest version of Kodi and it brings you all the features that you would want from a Libre Elec based system but for your Amlogic TV box. So one more thing before we get on with this tutorial is will it work on your S85 or S812 TV box? Well for MXQ S85 users it's going to work for you. There's a huge amount of development over the past couple of years by a developer known as Kazak. He put in a huge amount of work and the majority of MXQ boxes I've ever looked at, that development should work. And Alex Lech has pulled all that work and put it into his development. So for you guys with an S85 MXQ box, it should work. As well as that, other random S85 TV boxes, it should also work for you. In my experience, at least I've had some very random TV boxes with an S85 inside of it and it's just worked. No problems whatsoever. But moving on to Amlogic S812 users, unfortunately those boxes were weird, very very weird. The hardware inside of them was random from box to box. It just made development incredibly difficult for developers. This is why we don't see a lot of development around the S812 or, the, or its older brother, the S802 processor. You can of course give the S812 Alex Select development a go. It might work, it might not, you can certainly give it a try, there's a couple of different files you can try, unfortunately there's no guarantee, like I said it's a weird device, weird boards, very hard to develop for, so it's going to be random if it works for you. So first off let's go and download Alex Rec. it's just a simple download page on GitHub and here we have all the different downloads that are available to you. Now for UMXQ S05 users, we've got HD8 and Q versions, we've got a couple of different versions as well. It really depends on your particular piece of hardware, but just a bit of a, an example here for you, the HD18 q is the majority of MXQ boxes that were released, and this MXQ version was the B-Link version of the MXQ box that was released many years ago. So you can certainly give all these files a try until you actually get one that works. Now for you S812 users, Basically the same story here, try them all until one works for you. Unfortunately, if they don't, then there's nothing really that can be done. 
your box is probably just some random release of hardware and there's not been any development around it and it's just not probably not going to work okay so now we need to transfer this image file that we downloaded for our TV box. So I've got this MXQ HD 18Q Alex Alec file. I'm gonna place it onto my desktop. I'm using Windows 7. This will also work just fine on Windows 10. Or if you're a Linux user, it'll just be the same as well. Of course, you have a different way to actually burn this image onto an SD card, which moves me onto the SD card. So get a half decent one. I'm just gonna be using a SanDisk one. It's just an eight, gig one, eight gigabyte card you can use a four gigabyte card if you want to if you've got one lying around if you've got a 32 gigabyte one absolutely fine no problems at all so i'm going to be using win32 disk imager to actually do this you can of course use a, another program called etcher that's for windows and mac users if you're a mac user you can use etcher if you're a linux user there's actually in inbuilt burning system on there and if you're a linux user i'm sure you're more than aware of that and you guys can go ahead and do that. But for Win32 disk image users on Windows, we can just use this simple program. Those links will be in the description. It's just a very simple program you install. And what we just need to do is we need to load up the program. We need to load up the actual file. So we're going to be using Alex Select, this HD8 and Q1. And we're going to be selecting the SD card. So mine's on drive H, as we can see. And then all we need to do is click write and confirm it and let it write to the SD card. It takes a couple of minutes. And once we're done, we can then move over to the TV box because we're pretty much done here with this part of the tutorial. Okay, so we're pretty much there. What I want you to do now is set up your TV box, plug it into the HDMI, you know, do the usual thing. But now I want you to insert the SD card into that TV box. Now on all TV boxes, or 99% at least, you have a reset button. That's either in the AV reset port, the SPDIF port, or it's underneath or on the side. It's maybe in a pinhole somewhere. And you need to locate that AV reset button. And then you need to hold it in and then apply power to your TV box. And with any luck, if you've changed to the right channel, HDMI 1 or 2, whatever it is on your TV, if you've selected, if you've done it all right, it should start booting Alex Alec. Give it a couple of minutes and it should boot into so well done if you've made it this far it should just boot straight into Kodi and as you'll see on first boot it's all in Russian this is easily changed to English all you got to do is go to the cog menu settings as shown and go down to the settings menu again and just follow exactly what I'm doing on screen and change it to English now to turn on Wi-Fi we need to go to the connection settings again go to the cog menu and go down to the Alex Elec application just here go to connections go to your router enter your password and click ok and it should connect to your internet and that is it Cody is now set up to do whatever you like with so hopefully this is all working for you and fantastic news if it has because that means not only do you get to use the very latest version of Cody on your TV box which essentially should not be able to do it you are actually saving your TV box from going to landfill. So congratulations. I really hope you enjoy it as well. Really hope you enjoy this development. And if you do get spare moments, go and thank the developer, Alex Alec. If you're using Coralec, go and thank them. Because these guys have put so much work in to bringing these amazing developments to these aging TV boxes.